Sex. Ow. Hey everybody, Mike here. Uh, while I was editing episode 8, I came into an opportunity to edit Mo's performance, to sort of change up his performance in the space of the shot. Let me show you what it is that I did. So I'm going to show you exactly uh, how this scene looked originally. When we get there, we'll be unstoppable, bro. And it cuts back, and he looks at us. Right? Cool. Originally, the clip looked like this. We'll be unstoppable, bro. And he puts his hand on his head. Now, I like that too, don't get me wrong. I kind of liked it better bro. Uh, when he just subtly turns around. Right? Cool. Now, what I'm going to show you is, is that if you look down here, this clip here on the top is the clip of Mo turning and looking to the camera. The clip here on the bottom is the original clip of him, if you see right here, him putting his face down. Up here, you see what I did is I just ended up cropping him out. So I'll play this and this is him just turning around and looking. This is actually from earlier. Now what happens is, is when I crop this side out, it leaves this section open. And because this one is on top of this, what it ends up doing is it ends up revealing the clip underneath. And that clip underneath is Ed. So what you're seeing here is a split screen that you don't notice. And on this side is a clip from an earlier section. And on this side is the clip that is actually happening in real time. And that's how I'm manipulating the performance of Mo. Instead of him closing his, putting his hands on his face, now we have a little bit more of a natural look to the camera. Now you can use this technique in just about any editing program. You know, and I'll show you what I did in Final Cut. If you go to the Motion tab and you go to the Crop section, all I did was crop out the left side 40%. And when I did that, it just moved this over to reveal what's underneath. Now, I, on, on this episode, I actually had to use this technique again, and I'll show you where, where. In the car, you see Ed is sitting there looking, right? But what you don't notice is here on this window, all of a sudden you see myself and my partner, Mike McGettigan, in the background, and there I am holding the camera. Basically, all I did was I found a freeze frame before Mike and I enter the frame to film as the car pulls up. I'm somewhere behind Ed right now. And all I did was, was place it again, same technique, over the original footage. I opened it up and I went to the crop section and I just cropped it out. And what that essentially did was, is it shows Ed here and this section is completely gone. I hope you get something from this technique and I hope you can actually use it in your editing in the near future. Thanks.